Once upon a time, there was a young girl who rented a small 400 square foot house. Soon after moving in, she lost her job and stayed home all day watching cable TV, smoking cigarettes, and cuddling with her teddy bear. When it started to snow, she turned on her ventless space heater. The windows fogged up, the carpets became saturated, water began to drip from the ceilings, and mold started to grow on the colder exterior north wall because north walls are generally 5 degrees colder and can permit dew point temperature. The landlord was very concerned and hired a mold expert to come to the home and clean up the surface mold. The mold company would not clean up the mold until the house moisture problems were solved. The now very concerned landlord employed a moisture expert to test, diagnose, and evaluate the small home's condensation problems. The moisture expert concluded that the small home had high indoor humidity and very high carbon dioxide levels. He told the concerned landlord that the ventless heater must be removed and replaced with a vented heater or electric baseboard heat. Furthermore, he told the landlord that this very small house should have normal carbon dioxide levels between 400 and 800 parts per million and that the 4,500 parts per million carbon dioxide levels were rather high and could make occupants sleepy and drowsy. He explained that ventless heaters use up and deplete the oxygen supply especially if the living space is small. Additionally, he stated that if the carbon dioxide levels get higher, they can possibly cause asphyxiation. Finally, he told the landlord that all ventless heaters are bad and should never be used indoors or in confined spaces because they generate high levels of carbon dioxide, water vapor, and sometimes even possible carbon monoxide. On the day of the inspection, the carbon monoxide levels were low and the landlord was very thankful. The concerned landlord opened the windows and called a furnace company to replace the ventless heater with a vented heater. The landlord continued to get his rent and a tenant felt better and got a job. The end. Thank you. This is Marco Vogt from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please subscribe and rate. Also, you can catch Marco on Facebook, M-A-R-K-O-V-O-V-K, and friend him.